Hi everyone, welcome to Inspire DIYer. My name is Max and welcome to my channel. So, um, I actually started building this project prior to uh, recordings and um, like sort of halfway through after building this sort of cabinet, I got a lot of inquiries asking how I'm going to actually execute this project and to be honest, I actually don't know. Um, I'm sort of figuring out on the fly and um, who knows, maybe it'll turn out great, maybe it won't, but you know, we just have to sort of adjust along the way. And um, so what? here's what I did so far. I went to Lowe's, I picked up this, uh, it's, it's actually a 2x8, and I, um, I cut them up with my miter saw. The reason why I don't get anything bigger than 2x8 is because my miter saw can't cut anything bigger than that. Although you can get around with sort of flipping the wood and cutting on it the other side, but um, I realized that it doesn't work well or it can cause inconsistencies. So that's what I did so far. I did, um, and here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I drew the pocket screws here around all sides of the, uh, the cabinet. And then I'm gonna, um, I, I used a uh, pocket screws uh, plug just to cover it up. I'm gonna sand it down and uh, put stains on this project. And uh, I'm eventually going to turn this project into a Murphy's uh, dining table where I'm going to have this hinge uh, with the, the, the tabletop cabinet sticking out and it's going to sort of fold upward with the table legs and that's the, sort of the part that I, I haven't really figured out yet. with my project is that I built a cabinet that's actually about 30, 33 inches and uh, this table legs here um, I can try to elevate this table up a little bit further and adding the support so that um, it makes the, the thickness of the table a little bit thicker and then I can try to add the, uh, the table legs that I'm going to be building but the problem with that is it might not be um, 30, around like even 31 inches because that would stick out, like the table legs would actually stick out and it wouldn't look like a Murphy table. So maybe I have to add another wood support just right underneath that to, to shorten the length of the, uh, the table legs. But that's tomorrow's problem. I'm done with all the pocket holes I'm gonna be screwing it in but um, I'll be also adding glues in between and that's because this is gonna be a dining tabletop and you know just adding extra strength might help just in case and here goes
Okay, so I accidentally deleted the footage that uh, was supposed to be the explanation before uh, uh, doing standing yesterday. And um, so what's happening is I basically sanded this whole cabinet as well as the, uh, the tabletop that I have here and just use a wood filler to, to kind of even out the surface. But then I realized one problem here is that the table legs are not going to be long enough to, to, to make it foldable into like a, a Murphy table like. So I added this uh, extra wood extension just to um, give it some rooms in between the cabinet and the Murphy table and uh, hopefully that adds this reduces the height of the, the table legs so I can um, easily fold up inside but we are going to give it a try. finish this um, table legs. Um, I actually made a couple of mistakes here. Um, I used a pocket hole and uh, drill it to the wrong size so I have to uh, resize that and screw it in again so that causes the damage so I tried to fix that by um, you can see the camera the um, using the sawdust that's left over from drilling and yeah, using the wood glue just to fill it up and um, also on the bottom part, um, it is a little bit off, but um, not by too much. It's not noticeable by hand, but you know, I uh, measure it with the water level, and uh, it bothers me a little bit. But I guess that will have to do. Um, so tomorrow we'll be um, sanding this whole thing again using the 180 grit, and then uh, we're going to be staining it and adding it onto the, uh, the actual tabletop. Alright, signing off for the day. Hi, so I just want to make a quick uh, explanation to what happened to this uh, project and why it's taking a lot longer than I expected. So first, as you can see here, um, what I did was I actually rotated the entire tabletop. So now the, um, and the reason I did that is because the, the table legs is a lot longer than uh, what I anticipated and uh, unfortunately, um, from my original design, I couldn't fold the table legs down to the way that I wanted. Originally, I wanted to fold it up like this and then um, put the table tops down. But instead, I'm gonna do it sort of like this uh, IKEA project I was looking at, where um, I'm gonna be adding hinges here and here, and then um, the table legs is gonna be uh, rotating outward instead, as opposed to folding up and down. So we're gonna have to replace the hinges here, so which is why I'm still using the, the clamp for this. And the second thing that happened was uh, I realized that the uh, the weight of the tabletop is so much uh, more leaning forward. So when I put this cabinet down, um, uh, it was gonna actually tip over. So I got this. So let's rotate the camera. Um, actually, lift it up. So I got this baby strap, it's supposed to be for safety, for like actually for kids. 
so that it wouldn't tip over and then it's now it's secure right so this strap is holding on tightly for both sides and that I had it wall mounted and uh, I basically removed it all these um, you know all these uh, canned foods and uh, sauces that I have from the uh, the old this is my old like sort of like a kitchen cart that I built from the leftover woods I have into here and so um, the tables are still gonna fall down the same as before and um, yeah I'm gonna be adding the hinges here and then it's gonna rotate outward so I have to figure out the amount of um, space that's left in between um, here so that uh, I can build some sort of um, a dowel so it will catch the tabletop once it rotates out but that's gonna be an experiment So this is the best uh, locking mechanics that I came up with um, given you know that it didn't really fit perfectly to how I wanted. Um, I actually added the uh, a block of 2x4s that I got left over from the previous projects and I, um, sorry, just gonna lift this up. I added a dowel here and uh, drilled this hole that um, using the step uh, drill bits and then it just sort of catches on like that. And um, it's rather pretty sturdy um, than what I expected or how it looks like right now. Um, I can actually put a lot of weight on like actually pushing it down like pretty hard and you know it, I hear some creaking but it's all right like it's not it's not we're not gonna put that much weight on a, a dining table like you know unless you want to sit on it or something.